So you have a you have a good antidote with the sort of the Kevin Durant situation in terms of adjusting for injuries or people being out. Yeah, well, you know, like talking about being overvalued and injuries being overvalued. Years ago, I mean, in my database, I can mark when a player's been in or out. So I have five slots, where I could five different designate five different players for any team, in or out, in or out. And over the years, it just became pretty evident that Allen Iverson was an average player, but they'd adjust the line three points whenever he was out. And so I just bet again, I just bet on Philadelphia every time that Allen Iverson didn't play because he didn't make a difference. And a couple years ago, um, there's, <laughs> there's a few stars in the league like that now. Uh, Carmelo Anthony, uh, Monte Ellis for the Warriors. When he's out, the Warriors cover. Um, but in Kevin Durant's first two years. Hold on, I gotta write that down. <laughs> In Kevin Durant's first two years, the, uh, the Thunder were, you know, they were much better offensively when he was in the game. I, I think six points per 100 possessions better when, when Durant was on the floor. But defensively, they were nine points worse per 100 possessions when he was on the floor. He missed nine games. I think it was his second year. He missed nine games, and Oklahoma City covered the spread seven out of nine because they adjusted the line. And they were actually better without him. And they went under the total eight out of nine times because the defense was so much better when he wasn't playing and the offense was, was worse. Right. So if you, if you look at you know, stuff like that, there are, there are great sites out there that, that study this sort of stuff. And not just simple plus minus and how teams do offensively and defensively, but you know, basketballvalue.com is a great resource. And they do, they do a model that adjusts for not only whether a player's in or out. I mean, if you're playing with LeBron James and your plus minus is going to be pretty good, as you know, like Mo Williams a few years ago with Cleveland, his plus minus was great because he went out when LeBron went out and he went in when LeBron went in and he basically piggybacked on LeBron's plus minus. But this algorithm takes each, each time there's 10 players on the, on the floor, that's one data point. And when anyone leaves, it's an, another data, another, there's another set of data that starts. So it's, it takes into account the four guys you're playing with and the five guys you're playing against. And, and there's an algorithm that solves for that particular player. So you get an adjusted plus minus. And, this, and that's really useful. You get, you know, there's a lot of variance in that too. I mean, depending on how many minutes a guy plays. But you can get a lot of value on stuff like that. And, and once a guy's been out, I say, well, this guy's supposed to be an, a star. But I, he's negative based on this. And I'll look a few games and see if that's the case. And if, if it proves to be the case, then I'll start using that.